Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts <clears throat> and to the Spanish Succession Campaign. It's now my turn with the save, but before I get into any of that, I did want to uh, do a little bit of a review of uh, uh, Rex's turn, uh, who has been taking Spain from 1900 to 1910. Now, straight off, you might notice we're at war with four other powers. Uh, the United States, this is actually the second war for, uh, Spain has fought against the United States, and Italy, and Austria-Hungary, and China. Um, some of these wars are obviously quite new. If you want to see all of the action, um, Rex has, I think it's about five or six episodes covering uh, the, the his, uh, his tenure as uh, first tea lord, a uh, very good pun that I intend to steal. Um, <laughs> uh, but Spain is looking okay. Uh, Territory-wise, we still hold Cuba and our Caribbean holdings. We still own our North African holdings. We still own the Philippines. So that's good because it's quite hard to hold on to those as Spain. We're still prepared to own Laos for some reason. And um, yeah, I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, we've no way to get anything there, but okay, sure. Um, <laughs> uh, let's have a quick look at our political situation. So Spain, our GDP is 16 billion. I think that's probably short stacking everybody. Yep, smallest economy, because of course we have the nationalists in charge. And once the Nationalists get in, it's very hard to get rid of them. Uh, and the minus 27% GDP growth is basically crippling. Um, yeah, this is just one of the problems you play, you have with Spain. I'm playing on vanilla as well. So if I was playing on the balance mod, that'd be a much more sensible, like minus 10 or something, uh, or minus 5. But minus 27 is just stupid. Um, it basically cripples you. Uh, long term, um, I t there is a trick to getting rid of them, which is to increase unrest, but they have an unrest decrease of, well, I, or is that an increase of 50%? Well, whatever it is, if we can get people unhappy with them um, and get them out of power, then uh, we might be able to trick it because we still have elections. Uh, anyway, we have 10 battleships, 6 heavy cruisers, 17 lights, and 18 destroyers. Uh, battleships, we have the Deus Rex Machina, which I'll get back to in a minute. We have 3 Espanias, 2 Fleet of Oceans, 3 Invincibles, and 3 Reina Victoria Eugenias remaining. Uh, cruisers are... Well, there's two that haven't been refitted here. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll fix that. Santa Clara. Uh, there was an updated one for you. Let's just get that done straight away. Um, the Christopher Colon has obviously taken some damage and is in repair, so I can't do that one. And we have some Infanta Maria Teresa class, some Mass Dackers, okay, they're new. Uh, Extramunda class, okay, the Velascos, all right, Duertos, including some unupgraded Duertos. So, again, uh, might as well get those refitted as well. Um, may well be going over the uh, thingy here. Guantanamo's, again, there's some unupgraded ones, so we will get all of that done. No point keeping. Yeah, it was to keep keep this under control. But uh, I'd rather just shove them straight in. Uh, we can... Uh, we can probably just suspend this ship. And that should fix everything. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, budget. Uh, that's not looking great. That's really not looking great. Transport cap. We kind of need that at 100%. 
and I'll cut back on everything else. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to start playing, but I totally immediately started playing. I don't care about any of this. We need that full at all times because uh, we need the we need to do anything we can to boost our GDP. So I'm going to just adjust those values a little bit. Um, of course, oh, yeah, yeah, I can't tell what we're getting anywhere here. No new hull available. Okay, cool. Let's get into actually looking at what these uh, ships are that uh, Rex has built. So all the stuff before 1900 I'm not going to look at because uh, that was all done by uh, Fleet of Oceans and I've already covered all that. So we have a bunch of designs. We've got these Invincible class, which did do quite well. Um in combat these are interesting ships they have uh six twin 10 inch guns and some two inch backups which you know is really not bad they do 20 knots so they're a little bit on the slow side they do have maximum bulk kits which is nice uh and their armor is okay i don't think there's too much to say, to say about them beyond that. They are a decent price. Uh, not too expensive. Um, yeah. Fine. Uh, I like the use of soft-capped HE. I think that's an interesting choice uh, in this era because uh, you can get some really nasty hits with the HE. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm quite positive about those, they're yeah, they're they're not crazy, but you know, solid. I would say, just a little bit on un under gun for a battleship, f for my taste, my personal taste. Next, we have the Extremadura class. Interesting. Oh, yes. Okay, just a ton of 5-inch guns. Well, 5.2-inch guns. Uh, how fast are they? 23.5 knots. You should be good at, like, deleting transports. I'm just going pew, 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 pew. Uh, they've got a mine layer. That's quite nice. Uh, they're not really real armoured, but they don't need to be. Uh, they do carry some torpedo tubes. 17-inch standards. Okay, black powder. Yikes. Okay. Um, is that on purpose? <laughs> to use black powder, but okay. Um, that's the sort of thing I would just miss. But yeah, no, no, no upgrades here at all in the armament. So maybe I'm missing something with this, but I think that this... Maybe it's just forgot to do this bit. <laughs> that, that is totally a me, a me move. <laughs> so I might... Um, I might focus on refitting these. Uh, I think they, they maybe would benefit from it. Uh, refit the light cruisers. Uh, just making a note to myself. Because, yeah, a little bit of uh, firepower upgrade with all those guns might help. But maybe they were just intended as a cheap, you know, we just need, we need cruisers everywhere kind of deal. Uh, okay, then we got the Cristobal Colons, which were then refitted. So I'm just going to have a look at the refit version. I think that's fair. Uh, yeah, decent looking armoured cruiser, 11 inch guns, 5 inch secondaries, 2 inch tertiaries, a couple of underwater tubes. Uh, didn't forget <laughs> the armoured section, stereo range finders, okay. Um, 22 knot. Yeah, I mean, not much to say about that. It's a pretty standard armor cruiser. Armor is significantly less than uh, what I would find acceptable uh, on a ship like this. I think they are probably quite vulnerable, and the fact that one of them's in the shop for eight months may well bear out my uh, suspicion that they're going to struggle survivability-wise. But again, armoured cruisers, okay, we're in 1910 now. We're still a long way off heavy cruisers, but 
they're pretty much at the end of their lifespan so I'm not too worried about spending a lot of resources on them. Uh, then we have the Contunamos, which did get a refit. Yes, they did. These are our destroyers, by the looks of it. Uh, four torpedo tubes, three five-inch guns. Interesting. I like the tubes are separated. It gives you a better spread. Lay uh, Mine layer and mine sweeper. Very good. Uh, white power and TNT. Okay. And 33 knots. Yeah, solid. Solid. Don't don't see a problem with those. Uh, a little torpedo heavy for, me, for my taste, but I'm not going to complain too much about torpedoes. <laughs> torpedoes are fine in this era. Uh, then we have the Espanias, which have been refitted by the looks of it. I actually saw Rex uh, Rex's video building these. Um, very interesting design. Semi-historical. Um, I don't know if these were added in the refit, these six-inch guns. But uh, yeah, very interesting vessel. With all echelon turrets here and here. Uh, it's kind of pre predates a super firing. It's like a, a semi super firing because obviously this gun can't fire this way, but it can fire port and starboard and kind of aft. Uh, Twenty one knots. Uh, two, interesting. Again, white powder TNT. I. I Agree with that. Uh, basic turrets. Interesting. And the armor's decent. 13.7 inch main belt. That's you now 5 inch extended belt. That's pretty respectable. Uh, very well armored on the turret faces. Which is nice to see. Um, yes. Decent. Uh, I am I would be tempted in a refit to ruin them. And... Uh, <laughs> Put put these on uh, put these on barbettes. Now I did get a message from Rex saying that uh, I should refit. Yeah, pro tip: refit the Espania class. So I have been asked to refit these. So uh, I think that is because the twelve inch guns that they're using. I'm assuming they're Mark Twos. We've maybe unlocked the Mark Three twelve inch. Which uh, would be good. So, if we can refit those, uh, I, w I will. Uh, so, that was the other one that I was told specifically. Yeah, you might want to think about refitting them. Uh, but we don't have the uh, capacity at the moment. Uh, so, uh, we've looked at all of these. And then we have these. The Reina Victoria Eugenias. These are a little bit more conventional looking. Although the rear turret is not super firing. 13.5 inch Mark 1s. Mm, okay. It's it's a it's a legitimate choice. I don't like it as much in vanilla. Uh, this is maybe something I would go with in the balance mod. But on vanilla, I'm not so sure. Um, armor is... Okay. Yes. All right. I can see these being being okay. Uh, I'd love to refit it to put this on a on a barbet. Maybe we just don't have that tech yet. Uh, the one that lets you put two turrets on super firing barbets. Uh, so I definitely want to unlock that before I do the Spanish because I think the most obvious thing to do with the Spanish is to give them the. Super firing turrets. We then have the mass dacker. <laughs> oh, now this looks fun. Uh, Seven point six inch guns. Those look like a relatively high mark. I have a look at what gun text we have. That's a lot of seven inch guns, and that is a very inventive use of the uh, twin, <laughs> the twin barbette. I've never seen someone put them in the swimming pool before. Um, in the little funnel slot 
That is uh, very interesting. Are these heavy cruisers? They are. Well, those are way better than the other one that I was talking about. The uh, uh, I've forgotten. But the other the other class, the was it the which one had the eleven inch guns? I can't remember. Anyway, these things much more fun. Yeah, I like them. Uh, twenty one inch, uh, twenty one inch, twenty one knots, eight and a half inch main belt. Yeah, much prefer these. Just go pew 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 pew. Very good. Um, <laughs> so, oh, there's a whole bunch of those dotted around. Are those the five inch thirty eight. These ones. I don't see where the rest of them are. Oh, they're here. Okay. Yeah, very nice for uh, clearing out destroyers and stuff. Like it. Uh, more Dakar indeed. <laughs> um, you won't have seen this yet because of the order the episodes come out, but I have designed something not dissimilar in my German campaign, although nowhere near as fun as that. Um, and then last but not least, we have the Deus Rex Machia. So uh, the rule is there are each... Uh, each of us gets to design a, if we wish, don't have to, a uh, namesake class, aka flagship. So the fleet flagship for quite a while has been the Fleet of Oceans, which was designed by Fleet of Oceans. We are not allowed to get rid of the name-bearing ship. So the Deus Rex Machina, I am not allowed to scrap it. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to refit it. I think that would be... Possibly sacrilege, but uh, I'm. <laughs> uh, but we're not allowed to get rid of it until the admiral comes back around. So you you are allowed to scrap your own, or, or modify your own. I think, or whatever it is. Apologies for the uh, red red stuff. Thirteen inch guns. Why do we have thirteen and a half and thirteen inch guns in the fleet? Hmm. Okay. Uh, 13 inch guns in ABQVX. Interesting. Uh, standard soft cap. Interesting loadout. 21 knots. Uh, oh, let's see how I like. Oh, I was I was pretty good. All right, not bad. They should do some. They should do some good work. I would think. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to get a more of a handle on what we actually have in this case. Hmm. Because our, our shipbuilding capacity as is, is Spain is really bad. Uh, and we've got a lot of stuff currently being constructed. So we've got a lot of refits on the go. And then we've got yeah, a bunch of other stuff. What are we actually building at the moment? Uh, the mass stackers are coming out. Okay, good. And the Deus Rex Machina. Okay. Along with Arena Victoria Eugenia. Okay. Um, okay, the Hispanias need a refit. Uh, there are two Fleet of Oceans. And they're pretty solid. The Invincibles... Mm, uh, quite expensive as well. I'm going to put all of them on uh, Defend for now. Uh, just to help me kind of think through things. You've got the Rayanas coming out. Uh... The Cristobal Colons, uh, uh, they're already on in being. I'm going to set them to defend. Uh, we still have Infanta Maria Teresa's. Okay, these are probably going to get scrapped once the Mastakas are finished. Uh, yeah, Mastakas can completely replace these. And then we have a bunch of the light cruisers. Uh, we've still got Velasco's in service. OK, 
Okay, I'm probably going to put them on to defend as well. Just to save us a bit of money. Uh, we've got... Twetos. Guantanamos. Okay. All right. Well, that should save us a little bit of money. Uh, and with that little bit of money, I can... What's our max shipyard? It's like 31,000. How much would it cost to get... Yeah, just the medium one. Yeah, way too much. Uh, what about just a teeny tiny upgrade? Nope. Okay. We'll boost tech then. And let's have a look at the tech. So, uh, big guns. What are we looking at? Mark 313s. Okay, so the... Literally every capital ship we have needs a refit immediately. Uh, what do we have available? 88, uh, 90 is 2, and then... Yeah, we've got about 12,000 tons of refit capability. Uh, the Espanias are 23 each. So there's no point doing those right this second uh we can wait until these refits are finished the cristobal colon uh, how big is it nine thousand tons it's tempting just to immediately scrap it rather than spending six million repairing it for six months Do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to. You're just scrapped. Um, sorry. Because <laughs> we also have a Catalan, which I need to unsuspend, if I can. Because uh, I want these ships done and out. Uh, not clogging up the shipyards. Might be able to. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. And then I'm going to have to just my tech budget a little bit more. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> quite a lot to do then. Quite a lot to do. I'd love to just jump in and straight away doing refits, but our shipbuilding capacity is tiny. So that is not possible right now. Uh, not for another... Well, in one month, we'll be able to start refitting uh, probably the battleships. Um, let's get my type again. Yeah, the Invincibles. Possibly the Fleet of Oceans as well. In fact, all of them will probably need a refit. Actually, oh yeah, that's what I should check. Uh, gun layout. Do we have... No. So, we're going to rush this in the hopes that this tech is two times superimposed large gun so that we can uh, get rid of some of the janky early uh, workarounds. <laughs> um, do we have any... Uh, tell you what, I won't delete any designs just to clear up the list because uh, I know that other people might might want to look at them uh, later on. So I'm gonna be a, be a good be a good boy. We haven't built any submarines because we can't, and that's good because they're useless rubbish. Anyway, um, hopefully you've enjoyed this little overview uh, of all the designs and. Um, Actually, before I end, we should think about how we're going to prosecute these wars. So, we're at war with the United States. Do we have, over here, a sizable fleet? Oh, hello. We're over capacity here in Cuba. Uh, move... We need to move 3,000 tons worth. Yeah, move... The Francisco de Assis 
to Guantanamo Bay so that we're not over capacity. Uh, we don't have 100,000 tons here. That's what I was curious about. Because uh, if we had 100,000 100, tons of shipping, I would say invade Panama. Um, can we scrape together 100,000 tons of ships? Yes, because there's 65 sitting in Cadiz. And there's another 66 sitting in Kurana. So we could scrape together an invasion fleet and send them on their merry way. Uh, to go and hit Panama. Against Italy, there's Sardinia. Oh, wait, what's our... Um... Oh, well, that's garbage. <laughs> but mind you, Italy has garbage uh, army logistics. Okay, so Italy's a better target. So I think then if we hit Sardinia, it should be doable. Uh, could we do that straight away? Okay, we obviously don't have very much in the western. Oh, we're just under, just under this ninety-eight thousand tons there. So we can send a little bit more. Let's say one of these battleships over to help. If we could take Sardinia and then hit Sicily, uh, that'll probably cause Italy to leave the war. Or I would hope so. Uh, war with Austria-Hungary. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about them too much. There's not much to take. But, you know, if we take Sicily, then we can bottle up the Austro-Hungarians fairly easily. China, I really don't care. Uh, and the United States... Huh, we could try it. It's our total tonnage... Yeah, 300,000. Bit tricky to pull off two invasions. But we might be able to do it. We might be able to send a force over to Sardinia, then Sicily, and then put together another uh, force to go and take uh, Panama. The one thing I'm also noticing is None of our... Well, there's a little bit of stuff out here. None of our far-flung places have, like, just a destroyer sitting in them. So we might just need a lot more destroyers. We only have ten. Fewer light cruisers. We need more destroyers. What destroyer hulls do we have available? What hulls do we have available for stop? We don't have any battle cruisers, I'm noticing. Um, Dreadnought 1. This must be what uh, the Deus Rex Machina is built on. Yes, it is. Uh, okay. Yeah, we have... We've got the Destroyer 2. Hmm. Do you know what? We're going to design a Destroyer 2. Is the Guantanamo on the Destroyer 1? Hard to tell. It's a thousand tons. Yes, I think it is. This is our most up... To did I even review the design of this? I'm not even sure I did. Anyway, uh, fire four single 5-inch 38s. Uh, a twin and a single torpedo... Actually, these are fine. Do they have mine sweeping capabilities? No, but they do have a layer. And they're only 3 million each. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be adding too much to these. We need more of these. Need more Duertos. Uh, just in general. And we need way less <laughs> light cruisers. That's for sure. So, do I, oh, of course, because they're a refit design. 
1898 they were originally designed. They can't be Destroyer 2s. So I'm going to just design a Destroyer 2. Screw it. Screw it. Ah, the Nervion. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can produce anything halfway decent or not. Uh, these things can have a maximum speed of 34. It's uh, pretty spicy. Can bring turbines, that's quite nice. Okay. Uh, guns. Now, we could use the 4-inch gun. It has, but I'm tempted to use a three inch. In this period, time period, the three inch gun is still going to do a decent job. It has the same kind of close range accuracy as the four inch. And the five inch just isn't doing it for me. And the rate of fire that we can get with the three inch also means they'll be cheap and I can fit a 3-inch here, whereas I'm pretty sure I can't fit a 4-inch there. 3-inch nope. it is. Now, we could go for the, try and fit shoehorn that in, but a bit adventurous. So we go for just little pop guns. A token torpedo launcher. Yeah, I'd love to uh, use that a bit, but I have a suspicion it's just too big. Maybe it isn't. Oh, yes, there you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, Max HE. Yeah, we're going to go base fused uh, with the sticks. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, stick with the white powder. TNT. Advanced Hydraulics, Enhanced Reload, 19-inch uh, Fast Torp, Coincidence 2 Rangefinder, a Radio, Sweeper, and a Mine Layer. Um, yeah, I'm liking these so far. They're uh, looking okay. Can we lengthen those 3-inch guns? Very much. Answer? No. Let's just leave them as 30s then. Uh, we've got loads of weight left. Can we just brick this armor scheme? We can't armor the guns at all. But we can armor the rest of the ship. Uh, 92% half weight offsets. Only. 1.6. Pull this back a little bit. There. 0.1. <laughs> Amazing. Um, can we get extra coal reserves? We can. All right. This will make them pretty fast. Faster than our current destroyers by a knot. Uh, we're using 5-inch guns at the moment, so these do have smaller guns, but we are using 6 as opposed to 3 or 4. We have less torpedoes, but who cares? Uh, <laughs> not me. <laughs> they have 100 mines each and a mine hunter too, so they'll be really, really annoying uh, to the AI, which just loves to blunder into torpedoes. And we can build a whole bunch of them they are relatively expensive there. Yeah, 3 million more. How do they compare to uh, some of the light cruisers we have in service? I'm not sure. Maintenance, 400,000 a month. Uh, about the same as a Velasco. Uh, but, yeah, the extra speed and the 
fact that we can just get as many of these out as possible. They don't have ASW capability, but otherwise perfectly capable little destroyers. Oh, I didn't do any of this. Uh, that's bad. Okay. No, no extra call for you. <laughs> Reduced call. <laughs> I was very surprised. Okay, that makes them... Okay, good. Glad I was paying attention. Makes them a bit more survival, although maybe we could just fiddle with the armor a bit. Because we don't really need deck armor on the destroyer. Because I would like to keep that enhanced range and spacious crew quarters so that these can be medium ranged things that float about and hopefully punch above their weight, especially with the mines. Just lay lots and lots of mines everywhere. Because 10 destroyers, that's not enough destroyers. Um, they're only a thousand tons, just over. They are relatively expensive. But if we, we just need, we need way more than 10 destroyers. We need 20 of these, I reckon. So dramatically increasing our destroyer numbers. These are not for fleet battles. These are just for spamming. Uh, 30 of them. Go. Um, now, we're going to be over by, yeah, 30,000 tons or so, because I was right at the limit. But, uh, unfortunately, that means I'm going to suspend the Catalan. Okay, and then we're 10,000 over. If I suspend both, how long will it take to finish? Oh, seven months. Okay, so I'm going to suspend uh, 10 of these. So one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should get us under. Yes, it does. Um, just because I, I, I don't want to hold up the Deus Rex, um, I can, uh, if I can avoid it. Uh, but seven months, spit a bunch of them out. Um, yeah, that'll work. Right, I will have ruined my finances. Minus 20. <laughs> Jesus. Minus 20 for seven months. Uh, what is that working out to? 140. We can just about afford it. Uh, so I'm going to run slightly negative on my naval funds. Um... Get those ships out. Uh, in fact, with that and the fact that, hmm, yeah, these Velascos, I might start scrapping them. They're all at home, which is significant. In this, they're at Cadiz, Babao, Corana. These are all in Spain. The extra mundas are better, in my opinion, than newer. These haven't been refitted. When were they originally designed, the Velasco's? 1898. They're old. Uh, so I think I might... I might... Scrap them. I'll keep the Velasco. Tell you what. I'll keep the Velasco around. But the others... We're going to send to the scrapyard. Uh, <laughs> we're getting... Well, we've got a few of the extra mundas. They're fine. Don't mind them being around. Is there anything else? Uh, the Infanta Maria Teresa's. Yes, these are being replaced in a month. So we could scrap them now. It's not going to save a huge amount of money. But they are 300,000 each. Just to... Just to maintain them. So, yes. I'm going to scrap them as well. 
Uh, Cristobal Colons. All right. These are. Invincibles. Yeah, keep them on defend. Right. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with that. Now, that aggressive scrapping regime probably means that we have a little bit less out in uh, Cuba and things like that. But that's fine. It's fine. We really need to uh, be quite ruthless. And uh, yeah, if, if a ship isn't going to be useful, then it needs to go. So sorry. So, so sorry. But yeah, we need way more destroyers. We need them everywhere, which is why I'm just going to let the AI pick pick where they end up because it will just spread them around. But yeah, we need way more destroyers. We have quite a lot of battleships as well for the era. So I might do a bit of a rationalization of our battleship fleet. What are we actually looking at? These are new. The Rayoners. And then we've got the, the Rex and the Fleet of Oceans. The Spaniards definitely can be useful, especially refitted. The Invincibles maybe maybe aren't. And they maybe maybe keep one around for emergencies. But I need the tonnage to invade places, so that they'll be useful for that, if nothing else. Anyway, enough of my waffling. Um let me know in the comments what you would do in this situation. Do you agree with the decisions I've made? And I will be... Uh, well, I'm going to try and do something a little bit different with the Succession campaign. Because it's not going to be a regular series. Uh, you're just going to get the occasional video of highlights, basically. And what I'm going to try and do is next week, all next week, I'm going to try and live stream my raw playthrough of whatever's happening. So you'll see all the battles. Um, and then produce highlight videos. So that, you know, if you're just wanting to see the highlights from all three of us who, who are embarking on this project, you can, uh, but it will be a way for me to to do the recording and so kind of kind of show what's going on. But that's my plan. Uh, maybe some aggressive cost cutting. Uh, actually, I might just lower the tick budget a little. No, lower it just a little bit to sixty, so that we're not losing ten million a month. That's a little bit sharp even for me but uh, you can look forward to these battles um oh we've got allies as well of course uh, syria uh, light cruisers and destroyers convoy convoy battle battle and okay heavy cruisers versus lights Unless these... Well, they are pretty garbage-looking, actually. All right. Cool. Well, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.